Back to the Ringer 57 YouTube channel. Today's video is part one of stepping backward to go forward. Sometimes you gotta go a little slower to go faster, right? So, today's video we're gonna take the first steps. Tomorrow's video we're gonna take the final steps. And then I got another video coming up. I've actually got four videos right now. Uh, tomorrow I have a dino session for Dragonfly, so that'll be another video. So, I've been stockpiling videos I haven't had time to edit. As you're going to be able to tell in one of the later videos, the house is a bloody mess. I've been working 100-hour paychecks, so 50-something hour weeks. And I've been tired, and I have an hour commute, round trip, and yeah, it just hasn't worked out. But we had fun. We've gained a lot. Let's get to it. So, I started into this, and I completely forgot about you guys. So, quick recap. We had the laptop on. We started a new project, step back to go forward. Uh, pulled the tank off after we disconnected this fuel line put it in the fuel can and turn the fuel pump on and just let it run and run and run and run and run because this is the line coming from the fuel pump obviously so sucked all the gas out of the tank took about 45 seconds thanks all right so after that i removed the line going from the regulator to the fuel solenoid plugged this end just as a cap it doesn't hold any pressure doesn't really hold anything but dirt out this is a pressure cap it's an AN6 capping that off I have gone through and changed pills in this one this one and that one and we're gonna quick run through the last one what I'm doing for pills okay okay so as you know the fuel side's completely disconnected and doesn't matter anymore so we're gonna take a quick shove a wrench on here this nitrous side Oh, that's that's tighter looser looser yep all right and we're going to pull that off and we have a yep number 26 nitrous pill put that there we're gonna bag them all up here in a second uh, come in here and we're going to undo the fuel side of the system. Not as easy as it looks. Alright. Shove that vacuum line out of the way. That would be for my map. And we're going to take the fuel side of the system loose. There's the fuel pill. Now keep in mind fuel pills and nitrous pills are all the same. And these are number 14s. Smallest pills I have are 14s. And they are actually too much for that. It would have been rich anyway. But anyways, we're going to take that line from the fuel solenoid. We're going to hook it back up with no pill in it. Because, as you know, we don't have fuel hooked up. Now we're just going to run it down finger tight, plus a little nudge. Not enough to damage it, but just enough to seat it and keep it there. I should put a set of pills in here. I didn't put a set of pills in here. I probably could have just shoved those 26s in here and been just fine. There we go. It ain't going to vibrate loose, and if it does, it's not a world ender. Okay, I'm going to put this 14 pill in the nature side. And slide the AN6 to polyline adapter over it. And we will go ahead and snug that fairly tight. Not super tight because these strip really easily and on the nitrous side leaks are 
freaking minimal, and even if it does, I'm not worried about it. There we go. So we've now got all our pills changed. Uh, the one thing I want to do, I'm going to step away here, and we'll be back. I'm going to throw a nitrous bottle on the line, power the system up, purge it, hit it, and make sure it's working. I'll hit it through the ECU because obviously I don't have the button on yet, and if I flip the switch, it's not going to work anyway because it's through a window switch. So, be right back. And there we go. So we now have our nitrous on. Let's see if we have any leaks. Nope, no leaks. All right. Let's turn Susie back on. That's shit. That's what I get. That's what I get for forgetting to pull the freaking fuse. Always pull your fuel pump fuse when you're going to fool with your fuel pump. Fool. <laughs> Alright, let's see where were we at. We are in test mode. Enable test mode. Fuel pump fuse is out, but the fuel pump controls everything. Fuel pump on. This is the wrong one. I don't want to be in this. Uh, CAN bus test modes. Output in and out. Enable test mode. Fuel pump on. Let's see what our nitrous pressure's at. It's coming up. 821 psi. Let's purge it out. Need to get 750. Seven fifty five, seven fifty six should work there. Now this is where it's gonna get fun. You guys get to watch while I watch this. It is W L E D. And it didn't do anything. Oh no, no, it's F idle. <laughs> there we go. It's spraying. Now we won't start the bike for a while, but that's more or less how it's going to go. So if idle works, so now I'm going to come over here, I'm going to close this. We're going to go to boost and advanced nitrous system on above 6,000 coolant temp 120 TPS 80% spare ADC is the input still. I'm going to leave that the same. Uh, F idle out. I well, figured that out a second ago. Additional pulse width at nitrous minimum RPMs. Tapers down between min and max. Well, I'm going to do one. I don't know. 0.8. This pulse width is usually like 4. I've got to educate myself on this. This is for the dry. Uh, retard ignition by eight degrees. No. Three. Much, much smaller shot. Night just won't come on for 1.5 after. And burn. Close. Boost in advanced. Launch control off burn sequential shift cut is already off close that's it it's everything we can do so the tuning portion of this is done I do need to reset this this is set at the wrong RPMs and all that fun jazz but now we're ready to put the tank on I need to pull the air shifter off. I'm going to pull that out here here in a second and tilt the uh, shifter back up. All right, we're going to quick pull that air shifter off and get that out of the way. And then we will uh, probably call it a night on this. It's cooling off finally, which is nice, but at the same time, I'm tired. I'm not really 
want to eat and go to bed. So. Yeah, I figured as much. It's an 11 millimeter bolt, but anyway. Ouch. Once we get these nuts off this side, it should just be a lock nut and a washer. Yep. Okay, lock nut and washer's off that side. I can come up here to the back side. We'll get you down at a better angle here. And we're gonna undo it from the Mac valve. That's an interesting part to complete probably easiest to do once it's all out of the way. Uh, we're going to take when you a small screwdriver I just have that I no longer have. Dang it. Take it inside. So a small wrench will work. And we're going to undo this clevest bit. There we go. I'm going to push this pin through. Pull this ram off. Slide it out of the way. Put it back on there. Put the E clip back in it. Probably take this in the house and take this off. But for now, I'm going to run without it. Might leave it just because it's a real pain to take on and off. Now comes the stupid fun part. I've got to try and get this airline off of a Mac valve that it really doesn't want to come off. Luckily it's hot, so everything's a little malleable, a little easier to work with. I'm probably not getting very good footage of this, but there we go. We got the airline. Air shifter has now been removed. Take this, stick it back through there, this back through here, and there's our air shifter. The problem I'm going to run into is the same as I was running into before. Actually, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work just fine. Now what is this bolt? This random bolt. Just chilling down here. Does not look like it belongs down here at all. Don't even know what it goes to. Welcome to my ADHD. <laughs> down in my very expensive engine chills a random freaking bolt that I have no clue what it goes to or where it came from. Not the thing I'd like to see. I have no clue what that goes to. Something. It goes in the something bin. <laughs> Alright. Let's tighten this up call tonight, guys. So thank you, every one of you, for sticking in through this video. Uh, the content's been slow. We're getting ready to pick it up. That's the gist of everything that's going to be going on here. Uh, today we took our first steps backwards. We've got the nitrous done. Got the air shifter gone. So we are now hand clutch foot shift. And tomorrow we set up the push button nitrous. Yee yee. Thanks for watching the 57 channel YouTube channel, guys. Hope to see you tomorrow.